Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. This one is a bit random. I feel like I say that every time, but there's been lots of stuff going on and I feel like I've just been bouncing from one thing to another. I definitely was in the dye studio dyeing up a brand new collection that I'll chat a little bit more about later and played around with my Dean and Bean circular sock machine. We've got the spring along, make along going on in Discord, and that is getting ready to be wrapped up at the end of this month. And this weekend, I'm actually kicking off a brand new knit along with Julianne of uh, Twin Stitches Designs, and we are doing a coffee break cal. So I'll leave information about all of that in the description below. But if you'd like to knit some socks with us, then please, we'd love to have you join us. And so otherwise, just trying to catch up on work, trying to catch up on life, trying to catch up on the business side of things, and we're heading right into summer and things are really just getting cranking and moving quickly. So come along for the ride with me and hopefully I can make some sort of sense of what I've been up to. Here is a quick shot of all of the minis for the advent calendars. I got them all separated out into their own little bins. And so every bin is a day of the calendar. And this is round one. I've got all of those organized, which was a huge weight off my shoulders. Now I just really need to sit down and plan out the color fade and then get them in the dye pots. So that is coming up in the next few days. And then of course I de-stress with my Lamina wrap, which I'm still just absolutely adoring. This is a pattern by Amba O'Brien and I'm using the Fiber Fox advent calendar from this past advent season, 2021, and it fades and it is glorious. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday morning. I'm actually heading into the office um, for the first time in a long time. I tried to go in yesterday, but after I dropped my daughter off at school, I just wasn't feeling quite right. So I went back home and worked from home, but feeling better today. So we're having a do over. Um, I have meetings all day long today. And I'm telling you all of this because I scheduled a pre-order or I was going to schedule a pre-order for watermelon mojito. A lot of people have been asking for that. So I wanted to do a pre-order for that so everyone could just shop on their own time. Um, not worry about a limited number of bases, things like that. People could just grab what they wanted. So anyway, I set all that up yesterday and then I don't, I guess I could have scheduled it. I don't know why I didn't. I was just, yesterday night uh, we had a choir concert for my daughter. So after work we were kind of running. And so I was trying to do all of the pre-order stuff in the in-between time. And I guess I just brain farted, <laughs> but long story short, instead of posting that at nine o'clock this morning, I posted it early at like 7.30, 7.15 because I'm gonna be in the office all day. Um, so there will be no lofty loopsing all day today. That's an odd word, um, which also means no knitting today. And I have a, a day full of meetings scheduled. So it's gonna be very people-y out there today. I also wanted to mention that the May coupon for Patreons uh, or Patreon subscribers is available. If you're on the behind the scenes tier, you get a coupon every month to use in the shop. You can use it uh, as many times as you like um, and on whatever you want. So that's there. This is a lovely angle, by the way. I'm sorry. There's someone parked next to me staring at me talking to my phone. So, you know, just just morning commute things. Um, but yes, use that coupon. It's on Patreon. If you can't find it, um, there's little boxes at the top on Patreon on the feed where you can filter by topic. Um, it is called like monthly coupon code or something like that. So you can filter those out. Um, but that is there. Please don't share it with non-patrons of the behind the scenes tier. Thank you. That is just for you. Um, if you would like to get access to that coupon, you know what to do. Hop over to Patreon if you'd like, uh, but no pressure, no pressure at all. You can use that as many times as you want this month through the month of May um, and on whatever you'd like. So pre-orders, stuff that's in store. Um, it's just a completely open, open-ended coupon for you uh, to use until the end of May. And then next month you will get a new one. So wanted to fill you in on 
that the Glint and Glitter collection is still happening. I wanted to have it announced by this week, but life in general is just kind of hectic right now. Um, so I will be announcing that a little bit later and I am trying to now decide if I want to bump it from the 12 colorways that I wanted to have in it to only six and do the first half of the Glitter and Glitter Club and then go back and do the second half as a pre-order. Um, I'm really worried about time constraints on myself and I want to make sure that I'm not opening up a pre-order collection that is going to have a turn time of four to six months. No one wants that. They want their stuff as soon as possible. So it might be more feasible for me to do the first half of the Glitter and Glitter Club. So 20... 2021's colorways. Yeah, that will be coming soon. I'm going to photograph all of those this week. I have them all dyed up on all the bases, so I'll get them photographed, and then I will make my final decision on whether or not I'm listing that collection separate um, or splitting it in half. So keep an eye out for that. I'll check back in with you later. Hey, it is now much later in the day. Um, I'm heading home from the office and while I thought it was gonna be two people -y, it was like the perfect amount of people I needed. Um, yeah, it was just really nice to be around people and get to talk and hear commotion and it gets lonely working from home when you're just all by your lonesome all day. I will say I did miss watching podcasts or listening to podcasts and you know, but it was good to be around people. Huge thank you um, for shopping the watermelon mojito pre-order. People are people are swooping them up, so I'm excited to get those on the dye pans this weekend. And uh, I am definitely gonna have to keep one or two for myself, I think, because I have yet to knit anything with it. So gonna have to do that. But um, I did see that a very exciting package from Hannah, the Corner of Craft and Chromatic Yarns got delivered today. I'm super excited about that. That's part of the reason I'm in such a rush to go. A few months back, Hannah released a collection and I, of course, had to grab some skeins for myself. I actually ended up making two orders and she was lovely enough to send them or ship them together. So that is why you see two packages here. But she had a lovely little note and loads of Bird and Blend tea, which I love. She's definitely converted me over to Bird and Blend, but oh my goodness, can you even just with these sock sets, how beautiful are they? Um, I will try to remember to put the names down below. I know this is Rose Keep. I got it on her sparkle base as well as a sock set on her just uh, normal merino sock base. And I actually will cake up the sock set like immediately. And look at those speckles. Oh my goodness. And if the yarn that Hannah dyes isn't beautiful enough, if you have not yet treated yourself to her hand beaded stitch markers, you are seriously missing out. When I saw that she released a little cherry blossom design, I knew I absolutely had to own it. And then of course the pink pastel unicorn just happened to fall into my cart while I was shopping, you know, like it does. But look at that little Sakura blossom. Oh my goodness, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And this yarn is to die for.
As mentioned, I am co-hosting a coffee break cal and I am going to be knitting up the, I believe it's the gingerbread latte pattern by Twin Stitches Designs. And so I thought this Rose Keep sock set would be perfect for that pattern. It's very slightly cabled and it's gonna be so pretty. So I got everything kicked up and ready to go for Mother's Day on Sunday. This is a spoiler for the Cozy Knitter Yarn of the Month. So if you receive the Yarn of the Month from Christina and you don't want to see May's, wait, April's? This is April's. Uh, look away. So pretty. It's called Mother Earth. And I get this on her Bliss base, which is an 80 20. Look at those colors. So pretty. So, so pretty. This package is not yarny related, but I was so excited to get this in the mail. Um, as you may know or have heard or have seen, I have fallen down the, wow, rude computer. I have fallen down the rabbit hole of mechanical keyboards. And instead of buying myself just, you know, one, I ordered two and now I have a third on the way. <laughs> So this is two of three that appeared. This is the Yunzi keyboard. I got the YZ21, which is a numerical keypad. So it's just the little, you know, the little numerical bits on the side of a keyboard. And then I also got the 68, which is a 65% um, keyboard. And so I'm not gonna get too in depth because I know it's not yarny stuff and it is, fairly nerdy and while I love to show off my nerdy side um, I know that I'm not going to subject all of you to that but um, I just wanted to quickly share look how cute it is it's mint and light blue and it's beautiful and I love it and I'm taking video and pictures here for the TikToks like you do <laughs> um, but yeah uh, so watch me quickly mod it and then I'll get back to yarn, I promise. I found some time to get all of the Glitten Glitter Club collection photographed. So that is what you see me doing here. And unfortunately, our days have just been so dreary and rainy and cloudy and I cannot get a decent daylight day to save my life. And so I had to try to make all of my studio lights work to my advantage, but I still have my fingers crossed that I can redo these when the daylight and the sun is shining and things are nice outside, but I live in Nebraska and one can never count on the weather to work the way that I would, you know, you would like it to. And so I'm just photographing everything. I'm hoping to get everything posted and shared in the next week or so, I think. I do believe that I settled on having the six colors this time and then later on this year I will release the second half with six more colors. Um, I think that's just smart. It's the way to do it to where I can manage my time well and make sure everyone gets what they want as quickly as they want. And so here's a little pretty shot of all of 
all six colors together and I dyed them up on all of my bases. And so you can really see what everything will look like uh, on the different bases. And then another exciting package came in the mail. It's been a very exciting mail week this week. Um, but I ordered a mystery bundle from Magpie Fibers and if I could have shopped their store, I would have picked these three out together. Hands down, a thousand percent would have picked these and they are stunning and gorgeous and I'm so pleased with this trio. Someone doesn't like the storm. So you're gonna sit here while I try to work? Hey y'all, it is a dreary day outside. These are the minis that I dyed up with this latest batch of the Glint and Glitter collection. So I'm going to take these, um, there's a 20 gram one here, and then these two are both 10 grams of Lofty Sock. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna crank them on my sock machine just so I can have some little samples of how they all work up in socks. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, not sure how many rounds I'll get off the 10 gram, but if I have enough left over, if I can use maybe about five grams and get a decent chunk, um, then I might take the rest and do a little crochet swatch as well. So I'm just going around and putting the setup bonnet onto the hooks. And it's kind of difficult to do one-handed, so I'm going to put the camera down here in just a minute and finish this up. But I'm going to get the setup bonnet all ready to go, and then I'm going to start cranking these little samples. Okay, well that took me all of, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes maybe, but here they are. Um, I was able to get 30 rows on my sock machine with about five grams left. So five grams will get me 30 rows, which is really great. This is about the width of a sock that I would knit. So the gauge is pretty spot on to what I would knit. And so you can see here, this one is Cozy Hobble, which is really pretty. It's showing up a little less tonal on camera. Um, hopefully with editing and stuff, I can bring out the true colors. And then here we have Spirit Cleanser, which I really love. And then this is Amas Veritas, which is just this beautiful speckled colorway. And so you can really see how the three of them would work together in a project, but then you can also add in the three tonals that come alongside it. And I've just quickly grabbed the three tonals. So we have this really pretty golden yellow, a really pretty almost Cinderella blue. It's a really dusty blue. And then more of a kind of an, it's kind of hard to say. It's pretty mahogany, um, kind of this rich brownish red, but also has 
little bits of kind of like an amber in there. It's it's a really pretty color. It's got a lot of depth to it in in person. And so you can see here how the three of these might work together really well. Um, or should I say the six of them? But, you know, for example, these would look really nice together. These would bring out the little pops of yellow in there. I mean, really, the, the, the options are completely endless. And I didn't dye these on minis to do the samples, but um, hopefully at least this will give people enough idea of how the variegated colors and the speckled colorways will work up. And so I'll definitely be photographing those. And then I have enough to go ahead and do some little crochet squares as well. So how fun. I This Dean and Bean sock machine has really just become such a great asset in terms of making samples for the shop. Like that took no time at all. It's so great. These little crochet granny squares took no time at all to whip up and I got all three of them done last night and I love them. Obviously I'll get some photos under better lighting, but look how cute they are. And just wanted to throw in another reminder for the kickoff of the Coffee Break Cal that starts this Sunday. All of the details will be down below. I really hope that you join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. And with that, I'm signing off. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.